We begin tonight with San Antonio police warning citizens of a recent increase in vehicle thefts and burglaries on the northwest side. And in some cases, they think the thieves are using technology to hack their way in. Yeah, it's called a relay attack and it uses a vehicle's wireless key fob to gain access. It's not a new crime. Crooks in Europe have been doing it for a while now. The surveillance video from 2017 shared by a police department in England shows two car thieves using electronic devices to steal the signal from a key fob inside a home to unlock a Mercedes Benz driving off in it in less than a minute. Now SAPD says it's happening here and there are some steps you can take to prevent it. Newer model cars with keyless ignitions are becoming a favorite target for car thieves. They're actually using that technology to then take the cars. Officer Alicia Perneda is with SAPD Safe Unit, which has been warning residents in the Pru service area about thieves using a vehicle's key fob to break in. While it's made to be convenient, the technology is, is amazing. It's also quite uh, accessible for criminals to find a way to get in through this device that they use. While SAPD wasn't able to share any video of a local theft, several have been caught on camera across the country. Investigators in California were stumped by this 2013 theft when a mystery device was used to unlock the car. This man used another device in 2015 to steal a bike from this SUV. And earlier this year in Florida, investigators believe these suspects were using similar technology, but it failed to work. The car is basically a computer on wheels. And if you know how to hack into the system and can attack that system, that's what the thieves want to do. Roger Morris with the National Insurance Crime Bureau has been tracking these thefts since 2014. If a professional thief wants to steal your car bad enough, they're going to get it one way or the other. Uh, this device makes it a little easier for the modern day car. Here's how it works. The attackers grab the radio signal being transmitted by a key fob nearby using a receiver. The receiver relays that signal to a second device, which when held in close proximity to the target vehicle, allows the thief to unlock the door and in some cases even start the engine. This only works on keyless uh, remote cars uh, with a push button start and it basically takes the place of the fob. In 2016, the NICB conducted an unscientific test on 35 different makes and models using a device they bought online. We were able to um, actually start it on over half the vehicles we tested and then drive off with all but one of those that we uh, tested it on. So it's, it's a concern and obviously it's, it functions uh, and works pretty well. The device they tested cost between four and five thousand dollars, but some they've seen on the dark web sell for as much as sixty thousand dollars. Anybody that uh, has a good uh, grasp of uh, hacking and computers and uh, can make things, can probably make one of these homemade. I mean, it's, it's scary how easy it seems to be able to make these devices. Morris says car manufacturers are aware of the problem and are working on solutions, but owners can take some simple precautions, like storing your fob in a special key pouch that can block the signal and keeping the key farther from the vehicle when not in use, if possible. The proximity in which you need your keys is, is something that people, I think, need to understand that it, it is a way for criminals to be able to still get into the car. And another simple way to block that radio signal is to wrap your key fob and foil when you're not using it. Also, check your vehicle's owner manual. Some newer cars allow you to deactivate the fob to lessen the chances of this happening. SAPD still looking for the suspects involved in that recent theft using this technology. If you have any home surveillance of suspicious activity, even if it's just people prowling around your home or your car, share it with SAPD.